<clears throat> hey guys, it's Yo Jimzo. And Gamer SK555. Well, we here at Sinful Gaming realize that. Well. We haven't uploaded in a while. <laughs> and some of you may believe that we're dead. <laughs> well, I'm not, but. You don't count. You're a hybrid that lives off a diet mountain. Acceptable. Anyway, before we go into any more detail, this, the entirety of this Let's Play will, was A, uh, thought of and played by Gamer here, so. Well, what can I say? I felt nostalgic and decided, you know, we need to update, well, we need to upload more things. Let's do a Let's Play. <laughs> I have a game in mind that I'd like to play through again. And, considering I like this game very, very much, Ten times, damn near gotten everything in the game. It's it's one of my absolute favorites. Yep. So expect a slightly more constant updates. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to give him the means to record up by himself too, since I tend to slack on that department. Anyway. Yes, you do. Now I still do have that other one, but eh, I'll decide whether or not I'll upload that later. Anyway. Good gameplay, good music, and they kind of mess with the traditional storyline. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, Bowser, uh, Bowser does kidnap Peach in this one, but he makes a big show of, like, you know, taking an artifact of ultimate power, going in and beating Mario first, and then going through all this trouble to keep him from doing the stuff that... For once he's not holding the villain, villain ball close to his chest. Straight. And that's what I like about the Mario RPGs. They alter the plot just enough to keep the build interesting rather than just. Plus, this, only in the RPGs will they point out she got kidnapped again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we're starting a completely brand new game, all that shit. Uh, I'm not going into it blind because you heard me admit. But Jimmy here has no clue what the fuck to expect, so I'm gonna enjoy fucking with his head a bit <laughs> when the time comes for it. Yep. <laughs> I wasn't even down here when he was putting this in, I was in the middle of making up some food. <laughs> Indeed. Because let's players get hungry too. Yep. And we start with an opening scene of our. Mario has a suit, and there's a flying turtle <laughs> delivering mail. <laughs> Still not the strangest thing you'll ever see in a Mario game. Yep. And there's Luigi. Good <sighs> old Luigi. It's nice to know he's been getting some more attention recently. Yep. <clears throat> and so naturally, Luigi is bringing the freaking start of the plot itself to Mario. Because naturally, it will involve a party at Princess Peach's castle, and shit will get fucked up. Because yep. that's how these things start. Usually. And all kinds of entertainment. Yep. But since this is a Mario game... <laughs> there will be no entertainment. Just Bowser. And jumping on things. Mostly jumping on things. And having absolutely no control on this cutscene, we get a nice little view of Toad Town. Yep. Item Shop, Dojo. That fortune teller with the awesome spinning roof. And lo and behold, Castle! To anyone who's played Super Mario 64, this probably looks kind of familiar. Yep. I hear I recognize it and I barely even played Super Mario 64 because I never had a 64. <laughs> And 
since this is still filler, we are still waiting for questions for our mailbag episode, so... Stuff like, why do you guys never update, or... Stuff like that will not be answered. At least formally, I can answer it right now. We have conflicting schedules, we're lazy, and we usually just have technical problems. Yep. Well, partly why my can rage LP that stopped, I'm actually going to try to continue that when I get a chance, was because of computer problems with recording, and stuff happened recently that should have cleared that up, for instance. The only four was just me being lazy and forgetting about it, I'll fully admit. But still, we up I upload the boss of 4 one to show I'm not dead. <laughs> This one's spearheaded by me. We'll hopefully get it done. We'll hopefully convince you that we're not dead. Yep. Considering we've only ever finished two other LPs. <laughs> yep. Even. Wait, we actually finished. Oh, yeah, Eve and uh, Eve. Great. Yeah. yeah, we don't even remember all the shit we've recorded, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> well, I'm, I just get involved once in a while, occasionally, because yeah. you know, I actually have to be here physically. Well, you don't have to, but... Well, the one time we did it over Skype, I was, you know, all the way in another city, and I yeah. kept doing thing. Yeah. But that's pretty much what Strawberry's limited to, since he's all the way in California. Or is it Florida? I can never remember. <laughs> or Strawberry. It's one of the two coast states. I can't fucking remember. Why so many identical rooms? <laughs> Who knows? Besides the fact this was the N64 and they had limited memory. <laughs> At least by today's standards. Yeah, I will be talking to the bottom of the NPCs just for shits and giggles. Things like that. Even though later on he starts flipping through it relatively quickly, so you might have to pause. <laughs> yeah. If you give a shit, if you don't, well. People don't really care about if you just want to see me blaze in the game in unending splendor and glory as a great horrific genocide on all those who oppose me and lay down my bloodstained hammer on the glorious fields of Italian Valhalla. You want me? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, just Besides, it probably wouldn't be hard to go find a script of the game somewhere if you looked. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. You go there for chapter 7. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Penguins. Penguins. That accuse you of murder. <laughs> what? It will be seen. Whether or not it will be believed is up to you, Jimmy. Uh, anyway. And no, Jimmy is not my name before anyone gets that idea. <laughs> I've had several people think that <laughs> in the past, so I think it. Encourage their false <laughs> assumptions and then stab them in the back. Do I need to throw you out in the snow again? I'd break in. <laughs> I know. Absolutely nothing will go wrong. None will bother you two, so just sit back, relax, and ignore the fact that you're being watched by, well, anyone who watches our videos. That could vary from good to, oh god, why? I'm still surprised people watch our videos. Yeah, I'm also surprised we have as many subs as we do. Even with self-depreciation, we should not have this many subscribers. <laughs> it kind of makes me want to upload more things. I know that it's feel, but at the same... <laughs> How do you think I feel? Success is giving me shame. <laughs> How do you... Well, you know, that happens. <laughs> we are now in space. Yep, because Bowser managed to build a giant fucking floating space death castle. Under the Peach's castle. Without anyone ever noticing. Somehow. Fuck it, they were probably too busy getting high. Shrooms and flower powers, huh? 
And right out of nowhere, I can fucking breathe in space. So can all of you. Because <laughs> why not? You gotta love it. See, that's what I like about Mario RPG. It's just... Fuck a lot of the things. Pretty much. And have fun. I love how they're both just so used to this shit. <laughs> yeah. Back to business as usual. <laughs> yep. And of course, Mario never talks. Never. Bonk. Really think that you would be a chance? Yeah. Well, at least you know it was a scripted map with the camera that changed the outcome. Yep. Yeah, do that, because that's like, I'm gonna use all my healing I'm just trying to keep myself alive and shit, it doesn't matter. God, it actually hurts! And now you can't do shit about it! Resist urge to quote Sundown and not AVI. <laughs> I'm fucking invincible! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and now, with sparkling powers set in. And overkill. By the way. I'm dead! That's ridiculous amounts of damage. <laughs> you could have just done that at the beginning, you dick! Oh no, wait. Wait for it. That's not enough. Nope. Far from it. I can't risk him escaping from the dungeon. So I may as well blast him back down to Earth with lightning to where the star spirits are. The only things that can stop me. Pretty much. <laughs> and he's falling from space. Yep. Because there's gravity in space. Obviously. And he will definitely survive this with no major problems because this is a video game. And he's made of paper. Yep. It even comes into play later in this recording. <laughs> no wonder the fire did so much damage to him. <laughs> But if everything in this world is made of paper, how does fire exist? <laughs> That's a good question. The background itself would burst into flames. Indeed it would. Uh. Well, where the fuck have we landed now? Who knows? Well, just watch and find out. Yep. <laughs> and naturally, seven. Why is it always seven of something? <laughs> Uh, it always gives them enough time to make all the worlds they need. Fire world, <laughs> ice world, fire boss. It's, 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 it's. Kinda out of order, but yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you know the drill. They need, like, one of everything. Yep. But I do have to say, I really love the um, levels in this game. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you assault the Ninja Turtle castle. <laughs> You fight in an ancient ruin that was buried under a desert. You help ghosts defeat a giant ghost-eating monster by finding the heart that he ripped out of himself to make himself invincible and beating the shit out of a living sentient. So he's a lich? <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Oh, and then you go inside a toy box to fight shy guys. Uh, what Barely else? have a she sh 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 shy guys. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> the f and then you go in a volcano. 
on Yoshi Island. What? <laughs> yep. Yoshi's everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Adorable, useful, and Yoshi. And also used for a double jump. Yep. <laughs> oh, and then you go fight flowers. <laughs> and sentient clouds. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. trying to block out the sun. <laughs> and then finally, penguin murder mystery. <laughs> sounds about right. Before going to space. <laughs> again. How's a near door has got nothing on the ridiculousness of this, does it? Well, I admit, there are definitely... The sequel improved on a lot of things, like being able to play after you beat the game. Yeah. And, um... You know, bads, they reworked some of the badges, they allow you to hold more items, things like yeah. that. A lot of things were improved. But there's just something about... I think it's like the, um, the setting of yeah. the first game. Don't get me wrong, I love the world port and all the worlds and, um... Uh, Paper Mario 2, The Thousand Year Door. Like, I mean, you go on the moon, and you, like, fucking use a ghost pirate ship to fight another ship. That's just... <laughs> that was beautiful. That's beyond description. Uh, the nostalgia, the way these levels are built... Just, this game... It's one of my absolute favorites. It was one of my first RPGs. Well, it's probably the reason you love this is probably the same reasons why I love Final Fantasy VII. Uh, yes, I'm one of them, but I will still be the first to admit it had its problems. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There are things I don't like about Paper Mario. <laughs> the original, but... And I fully admit that the uh, second has, like, better gameplay and stuff like that. I just like the, uh... The feel of yeah, the first. Yeah, the feel, like the story and the setting. Yeah. The aesthetics. Yeah. Mm. It's just got that perfect blend of classic Mario and, like, wacky Mario RPG and all that shit. It's... Yeah. I don't know, it's just got that right balance I like. Yeah. Talking for a while, haven't we? Well, actually, nothing important is really happening, so when it gets to the good stuff, we'll be quiet for a while and let you enjoy, but for right now. Uh, yeah. Right now, there's not really anything going on, so. Yeah. I know. You should probably cut that out. <laughs> no, we're leaving that in. <laughs> it's not like we have anything else to say here, so... We've literally ran out of stuff to say that wouldn't be relating to other games <laughs> at this point. Well, I've got more to say, but I'm actually waiting for the elements thing. Yeah, well... Okay, I don't really have much to talk about other than other games, so... And I'm not going to advertise the games I play. I may like them, but I'm not that cheap. How the hell did they build a house with no arms? Fucking magic side. A wizard did it. That's probably the answer. <laughs> Why do they have couches and a chair if they're just a head with feet? <laughs> I like to think of them as big mushrooms, but yeah, sure. <laughs> so do I, but in what terms of anyway, like... I do think of it as a living mushroom, but in terms of their actual body, it's basically head and feet. <laughs> No matter what a Goomba is, we know it's not the Goomba from 
God. Still better than what they did with Bane and Batman but, and Robin. Let's not talk about bad movies. <laughs> The whole, I think, sacrilegious approach to yeah. love. As a side note, don't be surprised if, our, if we do start consistently uploading. Don't be surprised if they stop in a few weeks because Dark Souls 2. Yeah, we're... Oh, oh and that gate you've been working on? <laughs> fucking destroyed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite genius. No, I, I'm not gonna, like, try and squish you or anything. I'm just gonna put one single block here that you can't move. I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. No giant threats of violence. All right, that's what I was thinking of. He ate my pencil. <laughs> he ate my pencil. Uh, <laughs> that can't be normal. <laughs> No. Yeah. yeah, anyway. See, now you have an excuse to go out and find the hammer. Yep. Because your path is blocked by one... Because you can't grab to the onto the edge of the block, apparently. Or, you know, jump over the fence. <laughs> or all that Insurmountable waist high fence has thwarted us yet, yet again. Oopsie. Oh, by the way, something's missing. <laughs> oh, gravity works. Whee! And here's where being made of paper comes in handy. No damage whatsoever. Oh, there's the Miranda. And there's an old guy that somehow survived a dangerous fall. Probably fell into the tree. Or should I say fell through the tree? <laughs> Either that or it's always been there. Which is just weird. Yeah. We are looking for a wooden hammer. Press me to search. Give us the money. <laughs> we don't care about the hammer, we want money. They don't even try to just find it, it's just like, press A. No, you know what we're saying. Stop hammer time. Now, we now have a hammer. Hit things with it. Yep. Because sometimes stuff... Because <laughs> sometimes stuff will fall out. <laughs> yep. Ugh. And just preemptively checking everything. The At least it's not Final. At least it's not Final Fantasy 13. And away the old man goes. Yep. Because we must fight the egg. <laughs> yep. Thanatos. Time for the first fight. <laughs> yep. Be prepared to see a lot of this man, ladies and gents. Yep. You think he wouldn't, you know, be so obsessive about this, considering you just stepped into his playground once and you beat the shit out of him, but he he's very persistent. Wait a minute, so 
tactical genius. Two damage. Which would be dangerous. If you lived past that hit. Now give me XP. <laughs> yep. Cause that's XP in this game, kids. <laughs> Every time you go up a level, and enemies will give you one less star point until they give you like none. So the level cap is like 30 or something. Yeah. Many a time, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Shrooms! Uh, let's get high. <laughs> We're so fucking rich. <laughs> we never said we were. <laughs> And why your strategy in most games is not just run at it and hit it until one of you dies. <laughs> Except in Tails. <laughs> That's more because we're so overpowered where it doesn't matter. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Like we said, unfortunately, the beginning of the game is not that exciting. It's basically just... And obviously, don't jump up now. <laughs> Which the game tells you. Yep. You could probably tell that even before the combat started. Gives you wings for one hit. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the game explains that the reason you have a jump and a hammer attack, which right now does the same fucking amounts of damage, yep. is because there are different types of enemies and like things you can hit and shit like that. Basic stuff. <sighs> Remember, I tried that way back when in God Hand, and the quality was just shit. Even when I had the TV, he's music turn, the T, the, 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 the sound turned off. Why is it I have been unable to talk tonight? Eh, whatever. So until I can find a decent program for it, plus I think I need headsets for it to actually be decipherable. <laughs> In the end, this is the better choice until I can get some money. Did you get a job? I know. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one in the group that doesn't have a job. Really? Yeah. Strawberry has one. Oh, this group. Yes, this group, not our real-life friends group. That's a different one. <laughs> There's something wrong with that. No, I mean the recording group. When I say this group and we're recording, I'm talking about the sinful gaming group. <laughs> you know, maybe we should find someone else who's interested in the group as well, so... Yeah. I know, maybe we can get it and they'll be like the... one that uploads the most. Well, I do try. You wanna work hard, long hours? For absolutely no recognition in a position that's far under people that are way more incompetent than you? <laughs> Message us now! <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, 
Alright, collect those star pieces, kids. They'll get you powerful badges in the world. Yep, and you'll get an explanation for what badges are in a bit. Like right now? <laughs> yep. Such 90s. Such 90s. Rapping with Mario. For those that are completely new, or just not paying attention to anything, I am at least going through everything on the tutorial, so you can't say you don't know the basics of how to play this game. Even though it's especially explained. Yep. Fun fact, we're actually playing this on the Nintendo 64. Yep. Not an emulator. Yeah, if it was an emulator, this would be live commentary. First party member. Not our consent, but still. Yep. Great for free shit. Right. Now we get a little bit more of the meat of the game. Still not very much, though. At least I assume as much as I was upstairs at the time. Uh, uh, and the fact that the part where the game starts getting really good is shortly after the Shooting Star Summit, where you get the um, item that allows you to do action commands, where if you push. Yeah, I remember that. Extra damage. I remember that from closing your door. And that is when the game starts getting really interesting, because then you actually have to pay very close attention to the combat. Because otherwise you won't do nearly as much damage. Yep. And I'll usually get you killed. Yep. <sighs> Damn it, I don't want that direction. Um, what direction? I was just like, in my mind, I wonder when Tales of Zillia 2 will be over. Because then I'll actually play Tales of Zillia. <laughs> Not touching the first one. Yes, we're going back to Tales because there's not much to talk about at the moment. We still have to do that. Well, we did one way back when. Did? Yeah, remember the team battle? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Bad sign when I have better memory of it. <laughs> anyway. And by the way. Oh god! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> that guy must have a fuck ton of patience. Yep. Just waiting there for you. Yep. Yep. Hey, wait! <laughs> Dollar's old school of Mario enemy as Donkey Kong. And health. <laughs> Fuck salt, he's just back on the hand. Metal gear! Because you can't go Ike up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be ridiculous on this. Everything about it. 
because like, the last time I played this game was like four, five years ago. And yet I still have a memory of it, so. I'm not going to be lying. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. I think I'm just trying to comment on how memorable it is. Yeah, I'm failing horribly. Obviously. I believe you. Nothing! You're the one that wanted to do this recording, bro. Your hair is a distraction. Duelist, my hair is assaulting you! <laughs> anyway. My foot! As you can see, jumping on spiked oh. enemies is a bad idea. You actually use power jump. <laughs> Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads, you don't say. That two damage. And of course, because I don't have power smash yet. Mario can't do shit. He tries to head bump the spike. Die. <laughs> Sounds about right. That is one thing I like about Thousand Door. Your partners can actually take damage. If they take damage, you're either stuck in the amount of time they took damage, so. Just kind of pass. Yeah. Yeah, and if one is on health, you can switch up your attacks. See if uh, it's kind of like health and shield and shit. Yeah. But useful. It's a shroom. It is. I love three things. Hallucinogenic or otherwise. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna run that joke into the ground, but still, you can't deny it. <laughs> That's not a bad sign, what do you- Along with the heart drop. <laughs> I can never remember. I thought heart blocks just flat out free. <laughs> yes. Okay. I couldn't remember. Not in the sequel. Yeah. There is. Oh god, they're colored. They must be special. Ha! Ha! Unintentional joke! Uh, people. Yes, we are. But then again, at least we don't lie about it and say we're not. Yep. And yet, out of the three of us in the group, I'm still probably the best personality-wise in terms of making bad jokes and shit. That's not a good sign. At all! Other than Junior Trooper, who just keeps recurring, these two are pretty much the first... Actually, the first actually dangerous mini boss. <laughs> well, not actually dangerous. So. <laughs> it's like the only ones that take you know, a few turns of one just in tutorials. It's like, how about we actually see what you do? It's actually a minor test, unlike bosses in recent games. Yes, I'm going to go on a tangent about this. <laughs> Well, I did go on the tangent about it. I don't really have much to say. Well, this isn't really more of a uh, test. It's more of a... Let's see if you're smart enough to breathe and push buttons at the same time. Because with absolute... With no mash commands or anything, all you really need to do is just yeah. attack. Yeah. But, yeah. I am... Uh, going back to what I said, I am of the camp that games have lost... <laughs> Game bosses are basically just spectacles at this point. <laughs> Not 
really going to say much more on the matter unless someone comments on it, but you know what I mean. Such a happy child for the day. I'm not above cutting forth my opinion when it's Oh, it's one of the reasons you're my friend. Also, faker! <laughs> and you miss. And he was actually talking. Either that or either that or he's an amoeba. We have to say, he's master of disguise. Could never tell. <laughs> Until he flipped around. Over one thousand times, can defeat an entire Mario, superior to any other monk. Oh God. boss of the game that you can actually beat and isn't scripted or all that other shit. So, for the... Nah, I won't say anything. <laughs> I mean, Junior Troop is just a mini-boss, uh, Red and Blue Goomba are... they don't count as a boss. They're more just elite mooks. Yeah. In fact, they are elite mooks. They work specifically under their king. <laughs> yeah. Who has a really dirty face. <laughs> yes, he does. Such extreme derp even by Goomba standards. And then there's Bowser, who is a forced boss man. Yep. This battle is really, really fucking easy. If you know what to do. Yes. Which you do. <laughs> yes. Or if you have a fire flower. It works. <laughs> Also, logic, since we just finished beating the shit out of those two, they're not going to be Yep. Now time to scan Goomba King. We still only got one attack power. Yep. But since there's three of them, <laughs> anyway. I would still equate to three damage a turn, which would kill you in three turns. Bonk. Great victory. I never even noticed that, honestly, when I was watching it while it was being recorded. <laughs> yeah, you can only hit the tree once. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure about that, I just never tried to hit it more than once. If I hit it more than once, falls on Mario. <laughs> I would not put it past the game, actually. I would not. <laughs> you would not. All that EXP. And so you... Get some flop points. Is that why I have 10 HP and 10 FP? Especially. And the fact that it doubles my FP so I can use power jump 5 times for 15 damage. Yeah. That's pretty good. This what the hell did that end up in a tree? <laughs> Outside the fortress. You idiot! And he's just there being derpy. Yep. So even anything in that bush? No. no. Okay. You are a switch. Do not press it. What? <laughs> Down. And then watch where he ends up. Why he would go there of all places, I don't know. Why he would have a switch that would force him to go there of all places, I don't know. And away! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Red and Blue Goomba were never heard from again.
Well, not quite. They never show up again. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a s escape hatch somewhere. I mean, they were either hiding behind the king, so fat that he actually could hide them, or they just flew away. Or, uh, <laughs> who knows? I'm gonna get the super shrewd. Yes, because if you click through it too fast for us to see. Yeah. And, and out of nowhere, that bitch is spying on us. Yep. Save and continue. Back in space! Because you need a broom to fly through space, apparently. And breathe! <laughs> well, you don't need a broom in space to breathe, for some reason. Because you banished him back to Earth, where you could get the Star Spirits to defeat you. Yep. Should have just kept him up here since he could no longer defeat If we ever did break the laws of reality enough to actually get sucked into a video game, if we were the villains, how we win? Yes, because we're actually smart enough for this shit. <laughs> no, I think it's more they have contractual genre blindness, whereas the audience really don't. Yep. And out of nowhere, the fucking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I well, I don't know whether he can be considered an antagonist, but the robot in Thousand Year Door always gave me a good laugh. <laughs> uh, the power of teamwork is so fucking shiny and obsolete, somehow, despite being incredibly destructive, doesn't blow up. Nothing in the room. Yep. It's all the same exact position. It's true that that attack is very dangerous. Anymore. Yep. Yes. In other news, there's no one guarding the star. <laughs> See? He does show some intelligence. Only some. <laughs> some is better than none, which is usually the case. Yep. Give me the sneaky sheep. One puts things to sleep. You don't say. Gee, I wonder what's up there. One of the lower use badges of the game. The hammer badge. It allows you to do your hammer so that you don't have to jump on things if they are flying with spikes. Did you get sad? Yes, I don't know if the audience did. <laughs> I can, of course. If someone actually asks, I'm going to put in a, a fucking annotation and then say, YOU DUMB FUCK! I am not cutting this out of the end commentary, you know who you are. In other news, we're back at ha at home. <laughs> well, Luigi's just sitting down relaxing, despite the fact his brother is in a I wonder demonic what space castle. Was. And yeah. then got shot out the window by lightning! Yep. After having fire blown on him. When he's made of paper. We had this discussion. <laughs> we had this discussion before we started. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and was it a coma for God knows how long? It's just like, Considering uh, RPG logic, probably an hour. It's like, you did not even visit me, cousin. I wanted to go bowling. God damn it, Nico. I mean, Roman. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go on adventures anymore because I have to take care of this. I have to take care of this. Except in a thousand year door. <laughs> Where he royally fucks up every chapter. But then embellishes the story and gets it fucking published. Which is absolutely beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Such beauty. I wonder. You're not 
allowed to go into there until after chapter 3 when you get the ultra boost. You don't say. I'm not telling you what, though. I didn't expect you to. And now I'm gonna explore the town for a bit. Yep. To show you wonderful people, the people I will be fighting for. They Rust. all have pun names. Yep. Such puns. Uh, we will be talking less time in future installments. Hopefully. Yes. It's just that the prologue is really kind of... It's a prologue. Yes. <laughs> may have good music, and functional gameplay, and interesting characters. Do you even know where you're going with this? Yes, <laughs> I'm just taking a while to get there. Okay. It was an in interesting character. <laughs> But it's still one of the more dull parts of the game. Yeah. Excluding that part where you get shot out of fucking space by lightning and fire. <laughs> Even by Mario logic, that's what? Indeed. <sighs> Wait, how the fuck did the castle? I wanna ask how the castle flew into space with another castle on top of it, but he did just get a magic star rod that creates wishes. Yeah. So. That's probably how the castle showed up. <laughs> Why everyone can breathe in space. Yep. Except for the fact he could, you know, make Mario not able to breathe in space. Also, also pride. Yep. Even though we Also, power blocks will be very useful. We both may be prideful, but even we wouldn't be stupid enough to not pull something like that given the chance. With someone who could actually defeat us. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Even though out of the two of us, I'm the one more for honorable honorable combat. <laughs> I have my own distorted code of honor, but I don't break. Yeah. Mine's fairly simple. So long as you don't piss me off or attack someone close to me, I'll leave you the hell alone. <laughs> yeah, that's not a code of honor. That's just general. Yeah. Not being a dick. Yeah. Oh, in times of calm. <laughs> Yeah. In terms of camp. Can't be attitude. I was gonna say in terms of combat though. <laughs> yes. <sighs> combat though I would be fair. Unless it's multiple versus one, then the gloves are off. And by the gloves are off I mean Pocket I'm Sand! <laughs> yes, pocket sand. <laughs> Anyone remembers the Kojiro video from way back when? That's pretty much how I'd be in most cases. <laughs> Assuming I had the train, of course. And you know, I was able to shoot lightning out of a goddamn sword. Get out here, you <laughs> spinning roof, wizard, yep. fortune teller, strange man that we need to talk to. Uh. All these things and more. <laughs> next, <laughs> next episode. <laughs> That's it, fuck it. I'm just gonna crop Draven's face on Mario for the next hour. Why? Because. I just That's well. right, I'm inventing the original version first, and then replacing everything with Draven. Despite the fact that I only want to make Draven so <laughs> Because he was a things on that thing. Yep. Actually, and for... What the fuck these are? I wonder! Yep. And for anyone that doesn't know who Draven is, I feel sorry for you. League of Legends. Yep. League of Draven. Minty! <laughs> Minty! You're totally not a stalker, bro. I'm assuming that's important later. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> you. Yep. That's a weird thing. Yeah, we have to find them and get magical flower seeds from them. 
<laughs> In other news, path is blocked. Yep. To ensure that you don't futz about. <laughs> this isn't Skyrim. <laughs> or any Bethesda RPG. Large and full of bugs. Fun. Mm, the fun is debatable for me. Depends on the game. Giants. <laughs> now giants are fun. Giants. 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 Become unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, just like have a spell in Skyrim to summon an unlimited army of giants. <laughs> I mean, there was a mod in Oblivion that had the ability to summon a fucking troll ogre. It was aggressive to everything because you got turned invisible while it was for like a minute while it was summoned. <laughs> but it would even wreck. It wrecked. I summoned it in the middle of the Imperial City. It wrecked all the fucking guards. <laughs> and this, I had summoned it right outside the prison. <laughs> That's beautiful. It was. Macho Man Randy Savage is now a dragon. As is Thomas the Thomas the Tank Engine. That is fucking terrifying. Later on, I'm probably gonna play Mario though, as Macho Man Randy Savage. Why? Because I wanted to earlier in the recording, but decided no, it's just the prologue. It's not the right time. <laughs> Actually, if there was any part where it'd be a good idea to play Mario as Macho Man Randy Savage, it'd be Chapter Three of the Thousand Year Door. Oh, no, you yeah. and the Great Gonzalez. Yeah, I remember that chapter. That's probably the one chapter I actually remember. <laughs> Third chapter of ever like Paper Mario next to me. Really fucking good. But yeah, see? Interesting ages. But see, none of the ones he wants he can afford right now. Well, there are a few I want, it's just a priority. Yeah, I, s I said chill out would have been useful, but yeah, you're saving for two of the. Uh, Zap tap and peekaboo. Peekaboo because I'm usually too lazy to tattle on things. And sometimes I just want to fucking kill him. And zap tap because counter for damage. So. Yep. Anyway, I prefer to do that. Huh. One quick and automatic word. Of course it does. See, this is why I need you in your sarcasm and your commentary. Because otherwise, it'll just be me. How do you think I feel when I'm forced to do a solo recording because we haven't uploaded in forever? You always call me on Skype. You never call anymore! What's wrong with our relationship? <laughs> Did you get into the shrooms? I just, I'm not dignifying that with a response. Shut up. So that's a yes. Stop making inside jokes during the commentary. We have to remember that they're inside jokes and no one else can understand them. I know. Can't really be helped though, we don't exactly have much else to say, and yes, that star is a goddamn sailor. Indeed. Purple one's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Really fucking useful. Yeah. Yep. Seven damage to every enemy. Considering unless they're a boss, most enemies cap at like, what, I think 15? It's like half their health coming. It's like half their health coming. 